take it here and you have a wire so here's a broken fence I cut one wire which I will use later for survival cordage tool and for that I have used the Leatherman pliers they are really good to cut wire hey guys so today I would like to show you uh, one item survival tool which I don't use for EDC because I don't need it uh, in a normal life situations but in case uh, ship hits the fan uh, and you need to bug out I was thinking that uh, maybe I need just to grab one item uh, because there's not much time uh, to pack and then escape uh, with this one thingy uh, I was searching a lot what could be the one thing and uh, so far the best option I found uh, is the Leatherman Wave uh, I have it here, here in my belt So it's a nice pooch. Uh, I will show you how it looks. It has a nice sheath. This one is not the best when uh, you need to be really quiet. Uh, so in this case you need to open it before. Uh, before in this small pouch I was carrying like a mini lamp but since I'm using uh, light from the phone I don't need to uh, do it anymore. It has uh, two pouches on the sides. One is for lighter. In urban environment I think lighter is better than fire steel. You just have instant fire, you don't need uh, to prepare tinder and stuff like this. And on the other side I have a fire steel. This is uh, light my fire, but here fits also the big army version or a smaller fire steel. Then here in the back uh, I have uh, different bits, also from Leatherman. Um, when shit hits the fan, uh, this is not about bushcraft, this is about survival. When shit hits the fan, um, you need to repair stuff and um, that's why I chose uh, uh, the pliers of really high quality. So this is the Leatherman Wave. And in case of urban survival, you need to repair stuff, uh, your gear. For example, if you saw my video about AK knife and while I was buttoning, uh, the screws got loose and I needed to repair it so back here so it's called Leatherman Wave it had a really really quality pliers as you could see by cutting uh, the wires this you can uh, cut really really thick uh, cordage um, wire it's really quality also sometimes I thought that it will be like break it was moving but uh, it's really high quality it survived without any damage then you have here centimeters and inches, I hope you can see them, so inches and centimeters, but actually I never use this. What I'm using the most, in the, except the pliers, is the uh, screwdrivers, and you can exchange the bits. Mostly I'm using it at home for repairs, um, because on day to day uh, life, I don't need it. Uh, I can it can wait mostly until I get home and repair it. So I don't need it at work. Uh, if I would need it at work, uh, I would keep uh, one set of pliers of, or anything uh, at work. And I have also some pliers and knife uh, in my car. So in case I need it there, I will use it there. I don't need to carry it myself, so it's not part of my EDC. Then here is a can opener, and this you can use uh, for to strip wires. It's uh, almost all tools here have a locking system, so you have to push here to open it. Uh, from the other side, we have a, a bigger screwdriver. This is also lockable. Then. We have small, really small screwdriver 
is for repairing small stuff. It's a bit broken, but this also could be replaced. But um, yeah, usually uh, I didn't have enough of those tools, so this could be of higher quality. Take care because this can break easily if you put uh, use a lot of pressure on it. Then the last thing is uh, scissors, which are really sharp, so when you open it, you don't push like here, because you will cut yourself. So it works like this. This thing in here keeps the scissors open, and of course you need to unlock it. So these are the inside, and really quality pliers from the outside, the knife. This is the normal knife with plain edge. It's very high quality. I never ever sharpened it. Just came really sharp out of the box. In case, uh, from the other side, you have serrated edge. And then you have a file. This one is like almost diamond, so it's really fine. And this one is more coarse. And then finally you have a saw. Which is also lockable. It's very high quality, just uh, the length is uh, not that good. So that's why uh, if you can take, can take just one item, you can take Leatherman and do all the stuff you need. Uh, they are really high quality uh, saw. So, but in case uh, you can take like normal saw and a knife, and this is the only tools you need, take them and you have enough space because this is really small, it fits in the pocket. Uh, I even have uh, one like clip, where is it? Uh, it's not with me, but uh, I think here you can put the clip. I have it at home, and then you can uh, have it in your uh, pocket clipped or at your, be at your belt clip, but I usually, usually don't use it because uh, when you hold it in the hand um, you can feel it, so I'm just using the pouch. So uh, the knives, it's a pocket knife with lockable blade, but uh, it's not good for battening, don't do battening with it. Uh, maybe it will survive because it's the high quality, but I never wanted to test. I think I broke a bit uh, the tip, but um, yeah, if you don't know how to use the tools, you break them. Uh, that's why uh, it would be a really good uh, pair with uh, this, for example, glock knife or with a bigger knife uh, in a survival situation when you need to bug out. Uh, I lost uh, here the cover, so I put a the cork there in case yeah, I can take it out and there is one fire steel and a bit of cotton. And why I chose this one? Uh, because it's like also usable as a fighting knife, so it's not just good for batoning, it's also good for protection because of the length. It has also protection here, so it makes nice combo for a small knife, for finer task, and for maybe cutting uh, food, preparing the food. Also, uh, this one is not uh, the handle, it's uh, not that fine for longer tasks because it's from steel and as you can see it's not oval so after long usage uh, it's better to use the gloves uh, or uh, for longer usage maybe use a uh, knife with a normal handle let's see how it can cut so I before uh, made uh, batoning with the bigger knife You can see it here. Maybe you can't see it, but the knife is really sharp. Give me a second.
can already feel, like you can see the marks from uh, this stuff, so it's really better to use a uh, glove or maybe some other pocket knives uh, which have somehow as sharp edges. Starting really well. Let's try this right edge. Try first with a uh, fetish stick. Makes fine shavings, but for long ones, I think it uh, ruins when you want to make it really slim. It's better to uh, take the plain edge, but you can make really fine shavings with this one. Do so. It's broken now. So guys, uh, this is the Leatherman Wave.